Yo, YouTube was good. Just bringing y'all let uh, update, letting y'all know that I did make a Patreon. Uh, for only five dollars, you will have access to the best blitzes in the game, the best money plays. Cause I have uploaded like three good glitchy blitzes on here just to show y'all that I do bring y'all that fire. I'm still gonna upload blitzes on here. But like as for those type blitzes, now they're gonna be on my Patreon. So the link will be in the description if you want access to that. For five dollars, you'll have access to those blitzes, money plays, and I will be updating that daily, almost weekly, like almost every day. There'll probably be a new blitz on there for only five dollars. And for ten dollars, you will have access to my full defensive guide. And I show you I break down everything I do, and that will be coming November 15th. But without further ado, click that link in the description and uh, become a Patreon. But let's hop straight into this video, man. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, J-Man Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get Let's Go, bringing y'all some more heat. It's out, I'm in a Buffalo Bills playbook. Uh, I'm pretty sure I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, this out the nickel 335. Now, you want to make sure your fastest linebacker is here and a very fast corner right here. Patman, he sounds fast. The play is called overload three overload fire press. Come in with their running back block, and a lot of people know they're like, you know, I noticed that like in your videos, like you uh you got the running back blocking on the other side, not the same side. Like it don't matter what a running back blocking is a running back blocking. But now we, I'm just gonna go with the same side, so I don't hear no more people saying nothing. This is a four man unslidable unblockable blitz. They got a motion hike, so I want to block this blitz. Like, because someone did block it when I was playing it, but they kept motion hiking in a receiver. So I'll take that if you're taking a whole receiver out to play. I'm cool with that. So the setup is going to be just to go on base a line, pinch a D line, crash into the middle, shift your uh, linebacker to the right. And then from here, I always have a linebacker subbed in right here. So I will pit him in a flat. I hit LB, LB. I usually pit him in a flat because I got a linebacker there. Pit this guy in a hook and pit this guy in a spot because he's a D tackle. Or I can hook him if I got a good left in there. Or y'all, like, I don't know. Somebody like Cliff Aver, I guess. You can pit in coverage, but I just usually like to spy them just in case they like to run to the other side. Because usually what they start doing is running out the pocket to the right and you just send a spy after that. So then here's what I like to start do. You know, we're sitting four people. Uh, you can see I'm blocking a running back to the same side. Like, as y'all can see, <laughs> uh, and usually I just, I don't want nobody to hit me up and be like, look, j -Mail, I picked this guy in a flight, he gets burnt every time. Like, who you, who you got there? Oh, Cameron Hayward. Like, somebody somebody said that to me on Twitter. They were like, I'm running the blitz, but you said I put the left end in the flat, but he getting burnt. I said, who was there? They said Cameron Hayward. I said, sub a left outside linebacker there. Like, you can sub linebackers here. And when, like, sub Cleo Mack there, sub Zach Brown there. Sub Anthony Barr there, and when he played the flat, he's gonna play the flat. Like I'm just gonna run a play for y'all. Y'all gonna see it coming with a running back block. That's why you wanna make sure you have somebody faster. And I know a lot of y'all gonna be out there cheating and be like, like wait, let me just tell y'all set up one more time. Base line, pinch your D line, crash them to the middle, shift your linebackers to the right. Uh, from there, you do that, you do that. And know a lot of y'all gonna be like, bro, can you move him in just a little bit? You can, but like I've noticed it gets picked up more when that happens. Like there, it didn't get picked up. Ah, uh, it slightly got picked up. But like, usually just trust it. You send in four people, like you don't need, would it be nice to have instant edge and try to make it a little bit better? Yes, but I don't think like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think it's worth it to try to move him in just a little bit more. And like it get picked up like to me it's not worth it yeah i just don't think it's worth it but that's on y'all y'all can do whatever y'all want try whatever y'all want y'all see right there it comes screen but that time I got, that's why i just don't like moving him period i just leave him where he's at like most of the time that's just what i do that's just on me uh but y'all can do what y'all want i can't control y'all move over bro move over all right all right, now there you go. That's why I just like to leave him there because I trust in my adjustment. I trust that, like, you know what I'm saying? I trust the heat going to get there in time so I could, don't worry about it. Like, and if he do roll out, I just send a spy. So, like, usually, and then the coverage part of this blitz, when I do play coverage, like, sometimes I would just do that. Like, if I know they like to, like, throw to the flat, I do that. And sometimes, I don't know what I do. I don't know. It's depending on what I do. It's hard. I just know this guy has a flat. So I usually like to leave him over there and use it as linebacker. And it's a good run D. 
not to the right to the same side but like i said y'all can do what y'all want with this blitz really i'm just giving you on a setup uh not much they can really do once you run this blitz all you gotta do is use it in the middle and if you know do know what they're doing you can make adjustments like you don't you don't need hella people to tell you like how to make adjustments once you learn the game like i might do something like this man this guy up uh do that that might or i just might do this put this guy in a flat uh put this guy in a hook i might just watch fucking might just watch the middle myself and the only person now i'm watching is green or if i really don't want to watch them by i do that but if they go to the flat it's open but like i said it's all about your adjustment just outsmarting your opponent uh like it's all about what you want to do but like i said hope y'all enjoyed this blitz till then it's your boy jmail flow aka mr let's get it let's go